Okay. I'm, I may be translating. Carol has problems with language. I will uh, now uh, try to show you some uh, obfuscations on the 86 code. Uh, we have to move uh, the camera now and uh, I have to prepare. Uh, Revolution says, uh, before you start the codes, can you please explain where obfuscation is needed slash wanted? Well, uh, where the obfuscation is uh, needed or wanted, uh, I started uh, um, because um, you know some uh, software protectors uh, need to be uh, hard to crack or hard to uh, reverse engineer and. Uh, Um, any file which you are going to protect uh, is uh, wrapped by the protector and uh, if you obfuscate the wrapper uh, you get a unique code for each for each one protected file so, um, there is uh, almost no possibility to write some general uh, unpacker or so. No, uh, I'm not an author uh, of some protector. I work for uh, one company which uh, uses my obfuscator. Well, the company is <laughs> That's illegal advertisement. 
<laughs> no, it's not advertisement. No. <laughs> that side is loaded with crap. <laughs> Management <laughs> things like It's so. so obfuscated that nobody can see <laughs> <Yeah. it. laughs> No, it's nothing. Uh, I mean, there's nothing on the side and it is very obfuscated. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a very long time to find there is nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right uh, that even the obfuscated code uh, is uh, uh, is easy to decode, um, but it uh, these obfuscations uh, to man říct, že že ty obfuskace zhoršují ten proces prostě toho dekodování. The obfuscations prolong the process of understanding the code and imagine you have one instruction change into thousand instruction even uh, if you're an expert it takes you much longer to understand such obfuscated code Fuder, don't don't forget. Uh, uh, <laughs> they they're trying uh, to. Můžeš mu říct, který píše, že je tam jeden milion programů. You are right. It's stupid, <laughs> but it is some advertisement. And yes, uh, SVKP was it used with. Uh, one million instances of applications, of course not one million unique applications but I find it silly it's crap added by some management guy who has been thrown away already <laughs> no really, the site will have to undergo some big change we have decided it uh, to the company the what is he owner of company and CEO and main programmer and blah 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 is Pavel Cherven. He is little known from the area of security and protection from hacking. He wrote a book, you can Google it. Uh Savala Lakina. Maybe make it to Anglitsky. So it's more Anglitsky and Mistress. Yes, uh Pavel Cherven, I will write it. Crack proof your software. It's yeah, it's crack proofing your software. Yeah. Okay, I think that was enough to the company and Karel can present his technology. Unless you find suitable words to express what you're saying. Karel. Let's let's go to to show some obfuscations. That's going to be very interesting. And you can do the instructions. 
First, uh, I will show you uh, how it looks. Original code. How it looks uh, the disassembler itself. It's ugly so mess. <laughs> so this is the source code. That's not because there are no reasons to know that it's it's not sliding. Yes. And uh the correct you have to And uh which is how looks uh, the output with uh su suggested uh, we can try to obfuscate uh, Suggested. Uh, we no. can try to obfuscate something simple, just like uh, ink byte. Increment byte at the X address. We try to expand. The instruction, so it uh, will be much harder to understand what happened. So this is how looks obfuscated ink instruction. Okay, let me try another. Yeah. The pent EAX00. <laughs> well, uh, it has nothing <laughs> with it. Just uh, look at the first two instructions. Well, Tara will speak in Czech and I will translate. So he can express himself properly. <laughs> There's a um, question from Father. He says, I'd like to see a T algorithm obfuscated. It's short and simple, but still real code. Mm, we have no idea what is T algorithm. <laughs> so sorry. Somebody knows? I know. I know only ET. <laughs> if you mean some real code, uh, it will be difficult uh, for us to, to show it. It will be difficult for you to grasp it. It is used on real code. We can protect you some application with Soboku protector few times and you will see the binary is each time very different. And that's the purpose. Besides obfuscating, it makes harder working with binary because each time it is different. You can write, generate, unpacker or something like that for code that every time moves different, uh, offsets are changed and so. What we are showing now is just playing with instructions. It does work on real code. We use it. But you know it's hard to demonstrate it on a big piece of code. There is a possibility to call the obfuscator more times and uh, then uh, the obfuscation is much stronger or much harder to understand. I can set two passes. We will see 
how we feel so and uh, how we are for having heat and cold, which is also another one that I use this well, message for our water. Uh, it's first pass. Water the problem is and this problem is so well, now it's 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 the second pass. But he was able to mostly do the uh, uh, this is how it looks it be third pass. Should be fine as well. Look now. Skusime vic introduci na jednou. We will try more instructions on the time. Woo! With a cake inside it. His mom. Maybe that helps. Yes, it will. Maybe that helps. Revolution has a question. I wonder if it's revolution. Um, we are caring about security and obfuscation of code like this, like making it run three times slower is not problem. It's still it's uh, linear. Uh, linear more uh, yeah, so just no, not like. O n or O n times n. But it's a, but it, it could be a problem in many no. cases, really. Just three times. Okay, it's only a. Uh, uh, it's it's only constant, but but it is a constant. I can demonstrate without a with SPKP. It's a good less than a second. second. What about doing something? I, ju I just don't know. Uh, CPU exhaustive things. Oh. You can mark areas which will not be encrypted for very time demanding things. Uh, and and uh, understand this obfuscation doesn't happen on code which you are protecting. Because yeah. it is performed on a code of uh, SVKP that's added to your binaries to executable. Because you uh, could also use some kind of some method of encrypting your, your code. I'll just encrypt it, whatever, doing whatever you want, and just obfuscate only the part which is responsible for decrypting the code prior to running the code. Yeah, that's possible. That's already dying, done. Yeah, you can more so that's... Ah, uh, yes, part yeah, of this is the, the, the amount of code to deobfuscate oh, for yeah. you. Yes, and but then when they were, we're talking, for instance, that you can obfuscate code only, which is needed to uh, just... I mean. Don't obfuscate the code, which is time critical. Still so you can just make code, you, some sorry, parts of made code. Yes, I mean, cool. <laughs> Silvek, I don't understand what what you mean, what you want. About me? Uh, no, or Silvek. just about us? Silvek had some question. A little out of topic. Okay, Carol. So. Mm -hmm. Again, show us some. Um, There's more. Uh, yeah, there are there are a couple other questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I guess we should start with uh, this one. We talked about obfuscation oh, and performance. Some, uh, yes, I answered uh, that. Uh, talks about the unpacking. Uh, for the uh, so that, so SVK protector can do the same. You can uh, select code in uh, your source, which will be encrypted. You think uh, read dial AES or American Encryption Standard, or you can use RSA, and uh, this can be encrypted with key that's only present in license. It works. And uh, one more good thing for SVKP: it has not been broken yet. I've seen uh, unpacker for ice protect general unpacker. Anything protected with ice protect went down. It's not publicly available, but it, uh, AS protect is broken. It's beaten already. Yep. So nothing new. Continue, please. Uh -huh. Uh, sorry, Revolution had uh, one more question about anti-memory dumping. First, uh, code is 
uh, there are so th these encrypted blocks which require uh, having the wrapper uh, running to work. Second, there are many anti-dump tricks. Second, uh, you have, for example, every uh, Win32 API call changed to call of exit process, which is handled by SVKP and it finds from where it was called and it knows uh, therefore it knows which call it was originally so there are many anti-dump tricks and that's not point of presentation we are not presenting SVK protector we are presenting just Kara's obfuscation so let's continue Takže ještě se podíváme na obfuskaci něčeho jednoduššího nebo něčeho dalšího uh, We shall now see obfuscation of tak čoho? Tady toho All of this. <laughs> well, začneme s jednoduchou obfuskací. We will start with simple obfuscation. So, this is the original instruction. This is the obfuscation. Uh, Neberte v úvahu tu, tu poslední instrukci. Don't take the last instruction into account. Every obfuscations end like this. Takže takhle nějak vypadají obfuscace té samé instrukce původní. This is again the stronger obfuscation. Another variation of the obfuscation. Nice. Another. Now try some stronger. Please. Another. Takže teď děláme dva průchody. Now we will have two pass obfuscation, like obfuscating code twice. To je první. This is first after first pass of obfuscation. This is after second. Teď zkusíme pět průchodů. Now we will have five pass obfuscation. První průchod. First, second. Third. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's get off the scale. Shit. Something went wrong. <laughs> okay. Once again. First pass. Second pass. Third pass. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Quite ugly. Fourth. The lack of reverse engineering is really hard. Yes. <laughs> and you see your protection via uh, what is it called? <laughs> I don't know what it was. Uh, Existuje možnost, uh, jak vrátit kód do původního stavu. There is possibility to return code into original state, the original form. Well, uh, Tady na tomhle místě těžko budu vysvětlovat, proč, proč to není tak jednoduché, proč to prostě najde nějak triviální udělat. But it's, uh, it will be way too long to explain why it isn't so easy to deobfuscate the code back to original form. Doteď jsem ukazoval metodu, kdy docházelo k rozkladům instrukce. Uh, until now, we were showing a way which was only splitting instruction into multiple instructions uh, or substituting instruction with multiple ones. Teď, uh, and now we will try to rearrange re rearranging instructions or changing the order of instruction.
uh, the pervis plus still recording. Yeah. Fodor wants to see some conditional jump obfuscations soon, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> with, with rearrangement. No, to je jedno něco. Co bych nebojil? No, tam prostě nedělám. Však jsem ti jich ještě ony přetrhnul jakmile. No, tak to teď neřeš po tom tam pojedu. Well, I think maybe it's possible to make it into a different direction to take some code and try to make it into less instructions. Into less instructions? Optimize it into less instructions. Yeah, that, that's possible, but very difficult. So and it wouldn't have that good effect because uh, we are choosing obfuscations from some table and you will have to hand find all possibilities which can be produced then. I, I guess that it works like that, that you make a, let's say, tables that on the other side is one same instruction, instruction, and on the second side uh, a variety of yes, we can do it. We have uh, of just some our some tables are both way, both, both way. way. So you can choose only obfuscation. But that you could smaller code, but you could know it's not the, ob the obfuscate only code that was obfuscated by your software. Uh, but and we don't that's know that's how it was obfuscated. Serious drawback. And yeah. order of instruction is changed. So and we I will have to. I did mean some optimization optimization for not only obfuscated, but for yes. anyone. Yes, I understand. No. So it would be possible, but not very strong. You know, we have uh, some patterns which are changing to other right. patterns. And it have would have to go into it. deep analysis, uh, analyzing of code oh, that's and right. what was done. That's uh, kind of like a chess Our current yeah. way is not yeah. that generic. No, but general, I, I thought about it and generally it's not possible with this. It, it depends on the intention of the programmer. Karel, obfuscation is it Sada Makir or the samotný program? What does that mean? I don't understand. Co mi jde tak přímo? Tak budeme pokračovat. Vyšel kontinu. Tady na tomhle bloku kódu. Karel, you got a typo back. Oh, I'm an animal slow play, but... Oh, yeah. Has it possibility uh, to write down this conversation? I mean, I'm, yeah, down before we close it. it down, I'll see if I can copy. I think I can. And we should oh, probably post that too. We're going to um, post this up on the uh, the web, so folks, we'll probably and, have to edit and it. And the video? Yes, in the video, especially the video, mm -hmm. and stream it on demand. Would you speak louder? Hi. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. To neříkáš přímo anglicky. A to se vám lepší tam rozumět. Můžete uh, ještě být v tomto stůlu? No problém? Ne, já jsem to pro 4 hodin. No, tak jsem to od 9.30 do 7.30. Ale ještě máme ještě 2 hodin. OK. Takže zkusíme tady v tomhle bloku prohodit nějaké instrukce. So we will try to move some instructions in this block, change their order. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, v levém sloupci. Uh, in the left column. Uh, you see original num uh, numbers of instructions. A je vidět, že čísla po sobě nenásledují, takže došlo k porození instrukcí. You see the instruction 3 and 4, third and fourth instructions were swapped. Zkusíme ještě jednou. We will try once more. Mm. Same. Mm. No, again. Same. No. <laughs> Seems there isn't much to... Mm. Same. Mm. Is it possible to change our instructions? Yes. No. We would need a better example. Duplicate the lines. <laughs> Something like this. Takže teď zkusíme něco takového jednoduchého. Uh, Karel, napísal si to všechno sám, nebo si byl něčím inšpirovaný, například zombího? On mm, od začátku sám. To by bylo lepší, když jste říkal anglicky, aspoň to bude na záznam. Uh, Mainzgen wrote it from scratch, but uh, he was uh, discussing this area with Pavel Cherven, who already knew all this work. So there may be some influence of it, but really not direct. Uh, for their, to your question, I would say uh, algorithm doesn't get confused by conditional jump. Because if it would, then our so, so Svika protector wouldn't, but probably the example is too short. And his random nest generators never were too good. <laughs> 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 I remember some years ago. <laughs> mm, Ale hele, už to zakončíme. Jenom uh, ukážu tady něco a... Hmm. Takže zkusíme tady tenhle blok kódu. We will try this block of code. <laughs> Nothing. To <laughs> 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 vůbec nejsi ještě. To je zde random? <laughs> Just, I remember a few years ago when I was generating random number. Uh, it was first thing had a chance 50%, then 25%, then 25% and so on. So we'll uh, uh, we we're done, we could write uh, set the numbers can a uh, random numbers generator. Mm -hmm. And then it, we just put an input on the screen. <laughs> Just, uh, just like a, a, a yeah. color values or so. Yeah. <laughs> it was really nice patterns. Nothing wrong. Oh, here we see that we managed to uh, swap instruction other way. You'll see four and five are swapped. You thought that it was better, but it's not. See this? Let's duplicate some lines and then <laughs> we'll see the same lines, but, but the same. But other, I mean, other digits will be in the same first column. <laughs> well, anyway, much more chances to work. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, zakončíme to tím, že prostě ta příprava byla dost slabá, takže ty výsledky nejsou nic moc, ale prostě to funguje. <laughs> OK, so we shall, we shall end with stating that preparation for this presentation wasn't very good from Mezgen's side, so 
the result you see is not the best one, but it's working. Oh. And uh, you see what you can do with one simple instruction, which is security through obscurity. So and you, nobody of you would want to reverse engineer such code. Oh, wow. But because it was not so prepared, uh, we've got some kind of real life demonstration of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in real time. And do, do you have some, I mean, real code, I mean, some piece of code that you really obfuscated for use um, by those companies? Yes, we have. Uh, entire, I mean, I, I entire our protector is uh, obfuscated with, with it. <laughs> but it's not so simple to show it to you because it has, it is a, on the resulting binary, it is encrypted and you know, it's okay. very strong. You get through the first layers. Hele, uh, tak uh, můžeš říct, že teďka to přerušíme a napis tam nějaký, vytáhnu nějaký jednoduchý kód, nějaké mm. funkce třeba standardní a mezi tím třeba ještě se budou ptát Tomáše. Uh, ok, so for now we will interrupt this. Carol can prepare some uh, other code on which we will try this obfuscation and since then we can do something else. I'm going to answer questions. Uh, Uh, here is a question. Do you disassemble the instructions and create some info array of your design and then assemble different instructions? Or is it going byte by byte by byte <laughs> and change of codes on the fly? It's uh, done the first way. First entire source is. Oh, it's too fast over this problem. Mm -hmm. First entire uh, uh, binary code you are obfuscating is uh, analyzed and it's stored in his own structures and then he works with these structures. How much is structure? The structure for one instruction has roughly 300 bytes, by the way, to store all needed data about it. Data about it. Okay, so what now? <laughs> Okay, uh, any more questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you wanted to know whether a chat box are saved because we were discussing something on chat and we are answering questions without reading them so it was very best. Yeah. Mm, we, we wanted to know if the logs from chat are saved somewhere. Something new? How do you handle embedded text in <laughs> Really? Ale můžeš můžeš přečíst tu fudrovou otázku a říct, mm. to, že pracuje jenom. Fudr asked whether uh, Mazegen needs PE relocations to handle data references properly. No, it doesn't use this. It works on your binary code, you just say the code starts here, code codes ends here, and you have optional hints to aid Mazegen's analyzer what about what the code is doing. Relocations are made through these hints. Revolution. How do you handle embedded text in Execode? Že, že tam je ten pokyn, který řekne, že tam jsou data prostě. Again, you have the hint, which aids Mazegen that following data, the following uh, bytes are data, not actual code. Well, any more questions? Ještě, ještě 
počkáme, jestli se budou něco ptat, tak když ne, tak tohle zakončíme a že by se třeba ještě ptali Tomáše na něco, kdyby chtěli. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, um, I, he, uh, to understand, he doesn't work with the original binaries that are protected. Uh, only co- uh, SVKP code is uh, obfuscated, not the ori- code of original application. I'm the wrapper. Only our wrapper. I can send you some application protected with SVKP folder if you like. Give me some executable or something and I will protect it for you and you can play with it. <laughs> uh, Reverend, so it cannot obfuscate any random executable, only the ones which are prepared before. Mm-hmm. Generally yes. Jenom v první verzi, ale v druhé verzi už půjdou uh, aj... Originally, Mazegen had analysis of the code. But later we found that it's not needed because we only use it to analyze SVKP code. So this analysis is now disabled and probably not working. And uh, in next version of Mazegen, Mazegen uh, version 2, there uh, will be analysis back, so it will be capable of an obfuscating any executable, not only ours prepared. However, in theory, the analysis is not 100% possible. Uh, it, it is yes. possible uh, because uh, if if the obfuscation. Uh, this is uh, the same way. Mm. I, I know what you mean by the that you can prove, like a mathematical proof, yeah, yeah. that it's You're not possible right. in the right, but uh, general case. Uh, in my case, I need uh, to recognize uh, anything. Uh, I I have to I have to do. Oh, that's the budget scale, Kajoji. Prostě že ten můj disassembler funguje, takže on musí stoprocentně analyzovat ten kód his, a je to, je to udělané pomocí těch pokynů od toho uživatele. His disassembler needs to 100% understand the effect of every instruction and so uh, this is managed by having those hints in the code. So things that couldn't be analyzed automatically are this way told to make in future version, he points to this automatic analysis, analysis back. But it's not going to be to be uh, able for every binary in the general case. Yeah, you're right. Of course, it's never possible for every. You can write uh, it funny code. For now, uh, the maze gen uh, is used uh, only with uh, SVKP protector. So uh, the protector is prepared for uh, disassembly and for obfuscation. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't need uh, some general mm-hmm. binaries. And also if the code comes from uh, some computer and you know that computer, what, how to, what kind of yeah, code yeah. you can generate? So I can yeah. find uh, some mm-hmm. patterns or... Yes. Mm-hmm. Not always, it's very hard because uh, if you have optimization in the computer, it becomes very nasty. You can <laughs> you maybe you have seen an uh, interactive disassembler. Uh, uh, Gulfano is dealing with these things in his blog. You can see how ugly code is get generated. For example, Delphi, when it's creating a stack frame on place on stack for arguments, it uses a loop to decrement a ESP. But this is still a smaller number of possibilities compared to the assembly program. Mm. Not really. Sometimes it's, oh, yeah, of course you can do anything in assembly, but you would be surprised how ugly code can be generated. For example, it preloads address of function into the register and the handwritten instruction later behind five conditional jumps it calls that address and... Well, 
Stars means doing the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you can do, but usually as a How about the stars can it? <laughs> By the way, mm, you guys wanted me to protect uh, the server itself by the sneak ID, the sneak ID, so they can uh, try to break it. But the protection <laughs> would be fun. We could e you could even place our encrypted box there and, for example, disable some directive without proper license. <laughs> <laughs> Takže když končíme tady to a že, že se můžou se ptát třeba Tomáše. Ok, ještě pozdělám otázky. Právě, že už na mě tam není nic. Aha. <laughs> jo. Foder said you can call Delphi a code obfuscator. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so we will end this now. What, what? Já to bylo jako del assembly. Okay, so we will end this for now. Carol will be preparing some better example.